Every time before I do a setup, I am a nervous wreck. I can't tell you how much time I spend that night thinking about details and logistics and is this going to fit? Is this going to hold up? Do I have enough support in the bottom to hold this big piece up? I do sometimes say, if I have any regrets, I don't have anything but a memory and a picture to show for it. I think I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> so otherwise it's gonna get really dirty. The ice that we create is a lot harder than ice that has oxygen in it. It's a lot better. Yeah. So we have to temper it. We allow it to start to melt a little bit before we do any carving. Yeah, right there, that's good. It makes it, to me, almost magical. As a child, didn't feel I was very talented at art. And it wasn't until I was long out of school realized that my mind works much better in three dimensions. I still struggle when I do animals. The chainsaw cuts straight lines. And Tom often reminds me in nature, there are very few, if any, straight lines. Hey, can I uh, double check my lines with you? I've known him about? for 30 years. Where to start, right there. Yep. So he's a very good teacher. Look good. My first uh, ice carving I ever did was at chef school. What would go on back in the past a little more was that chefs would make an ice sculpture to garnish a buffet. And it brings out the total creativity in a chef. Needless to say, what, what happens with us who are in this industry, if we, we really like that medium to work with, it really becomes a passion. When I did my first ice carving, I was a cook. I love the process of carving the ice, that I can just disappear from my day-to-day -day worries and troubles and thoughts. Okay. You mean like in, in the like chest the, area? Like the feather, yeah. Like yeah, the put scallop. this back in so we'll have scallop more stability okay, with cool. it. Your 100% focus has to be on that piece at one point. You know, you're in a zone and you've got to follow step by step. It's almost like a orchestration of we're going to start here, we're going to do this, then we're going to do that. We have our times where we're doubting what we're involved with and what we're putting up. It's wet, it's cold, it's very, very physical when you're holding a chainsaw that's going 5,500 RPM. But boy, when it's all said and done, when it goes up, that's what makes the difference. I know, right? Without it melting, it's super cold sculpture. Every holiday, there's probably 10,000 people that get to see our sculptures. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. It is gorgeous. You know, you could have made a sculpture out of bronze. You could have made a sculpture out of anything and put it up there and lit it up and made, made it look beautiful. But when it's something that is actually melting right before your very eyes, 
it's got a little bit more intrigue to it. Damn it! <laughs> wow! Oh, that feels so weird. God, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Carved out a real ice. All that excitement over something that we sometimes take for granted on what we could do. You're an artist! Thank you. How long did you take? Uh, hour and a half. Yeah, we started with three 300 pound blocks of ice. It's not there to forever preserve and admire and share, but in a tragic way, that's really beautiful that only a certain percentage of people will experience and enjoy that. That's ice, but you can't put your mouth on it. No, get your tongue stuck on that, huh? Look at that. How do you like that? Have you ever seen such a big chunk of ice? To do something that they have such a great memory of is priceless. That's cool, huh? Yeah, we now we're stepping in here. The most special sculpture is the angel. She was like an angel. Caring made so many people's lives special. Sometimes on the 4th of July, the day that she passed away. I'll take a, an angel and leave it on my wife's gravesite. It brings me some comfort to know that uh, she's still in our thoughts. I miss you. You would be very proud of your kids. They've turned out to be perfect people. I've been able to contribute to other people's hard times through a few more angels, and I'm, I'm glad that I can do that for someone. It took a long time, but now that I know I can make something that will bring joy to someone else, that tells me that I've got an artist's hands.